Hi YouTube. So it's been one week and one day since I had my extractions. Um, a lot has happened in this week. Uh, two days after my extractions on so I had them on a Friday on a Sunday my son ran in a 5k um, right after we left the 5k I had on sunglasses um, so I'm going to try to wrap this up otherwise this is going to be an extremely long video but the short end of that story is I thought the sunglasses was doing it but it wasn't um, but what happened was my whole left ear went numb and then the back of my head started going numb. Um, and then I started freaking out because I felt like my arm and my leg was going numb all on my left side. We went straight to the hospital. I seriously thought I was having a stroke. Um, they were, they were incredible. The place we went to was a, it turned out to be a stroke center. So they were like two seconds surrounded me, asking me all these questions, doing all these tests. Um, got it straight that I wasn't having a stroke. They still did a CAT scan to make sure. Um, incredible place, it's called St. Agnes in Baltimore. Anyway, um, they did a great job. They made me feel so much better. <laughs> um, but he said it was because of my surgery. So the nerves um, I had, I was having problems with putting in my bottoms and just like 45 minutes before that at my son's um, 5k I had went to the car and put him back in and then sure enough my whole left side of my head goes numb absolutely insane um haven't had it happen since great so I did go to the dentist on that Monday he did do somewhat of an adjustment he did a little bit of dremeling which I thought they're supposed to seal after that, just from what other people say, but he didn't do any sealing. He just dremeled, um, which kind of makes me want to go buy a dremel, but I'm not because I'm scared. I'm going to mess it up. Anyway, he did a little bit right here, like on the side, um, but he didn't do enough because I have this huge sore right here which isn't even the worst of it, cause I can kind of get by with that. But I have a huge, oh, huge one in the back. I am in so much pain from this bottom plate. The top has not bothered me. I have a couple little sore spots, but the bottom is unbearable. Um, I was just watching a, uh, another video and I do apologize if I forgot her name I'll insert it into the comment she's great um so I do want to give her credit because I've been watching her videos and she's been helping me a lot she had the same issue with pain in the bottom and she was she basically I'm up to a video where she's had it out for like five days so far so I'm considering um just not wearing this bottom until I go to the dentist but my appointment isn't until the 6th which is like almost two weeks away. Um, so I don't know how I'm gonna manage for two weeks. I, I might have to call, make it some sort of emergency appointment. Um, but the problem is I started a brand new job on Tuesday and it's two weeks training and the attendance is vital. So I'm already gonna be asking a lot to go to that first appointment. Um, so, it's just timing is everything um so anyway uh so it's been a week um i did try to eat some things i probably shouldn't have and i paid dearly for it so don't do that um i tried to eat a soft pretzel because <laughs> i'm a i'm addicted to them when we go to the movies and i just couldn't say no and bore down through it i was able to eat eat quite a bit but I paid dearly um so with the soreness um so don't do that don't do it it's just not worth it at all um so yeah I can't eat anything that has any sort of bite right now and my teeth like my bottom plate right now I can feel like it basically feels like I have something sitting up really high on top like it doesn't touch my gum right there in the front like it feels like it's just touching the back ones 
it's really weird how it feels. Um, it takes me like 15 minutes to get my bottom in. I have to put it in my mouth. It looks like I have a broken jaw the way I have to have it, this teeth set up like this. And then it let it slowly sink in. And as I like swallow and create that little bit of suction, they slowly start going on. And it literally takes me like 10 to 15 minutes to get it on. It's that painful and that ridiculous. And to get it out takes me like five minutes. It's so painful. I just, I seriously am considering going to work on Tuesday and not wearing it and just kind of doing what I was used to doing anyway, which is kind of talking with my mouth like this so that people couldn't see my teeth. And, you know, people probably thought I was really weird all the time. And I actually did have one of my supervisors tell me he thought I was very somber. And it was all because I was hiding my teeth. But as I talk right now, I see that you really see the bottom teeth so much. And it's kind of bugging me out. <laughs> but uh, I think I could probably pull it off if I do a little of this kind of stuff. As long as there's nothing there. It's not like they're missing anything, right? So if I have to, I have to. Luckily, I'll be in training so people... Uh, hopefully they'll be doing all the talking. I guess maybe the first day I'll just rough it, see how it goes, and um, see if it's something that I can sit back and do more listening than talking. Mm, but I have a feeling it's going to be very interactive, so I don't know. Um, so anyway, that's where I'm at. It's been a week. Oh, Aspen Dental. So... As I mentioned before, everything has been great care-wise. Um, when I did go in to see my dentist about this issue, and also I feel like my midline is off when I'm talking. I feel like it should be like here, like over just a little tiny bit, but I don't know. Anyway, um, do you... Let me know in a comment if you see it too. Because it feels like my teeth are crooked. Like, I don't know. Anyway, so the care has been great. The dentist, when I went in, he did seem a little bit perturbed. Um, but he did drill down a little bit. I told him about the bite. He said we wouldn't deal with that yet. Um... I told him that they only gave me like 10 pain pills and I was having to double up on them. And um, he did give me some, some more pain pills. Uh, not really wanting to, but he did. So, uh, and honestly, I could take more at this point. I'm out again, but I, I'm not going to push it. I'm just going to keep trying with the um, ibuprofen and stuff. And that's why I'm just considering just taking the bottom out because... The pain pills really didn't do crap for that anyway. Um, I can't rub my lips together. That's, a, that's as far as I can do it. That's a problem, right? Why can't I do that? Anyway. Um, that's really crazy. No, sorry. <laughs> so anyway, I went in to do to get that um adjustment made because I was like in so much pain and it was just Monday it was just a couple of days after and um the front desk she's like oh yeah um you have a balance of $180 I was like well you know because I had already paid my balance in full I'm like confused She's like, oh, yes, because you didn't get the IV and we had to give you a pill. So now you have to pay $180, which was really confusing to me because I would think IV sedation would cost more than me getting a pill. Um, but they said that they took the IV off and it was the difference in cost because it was actually $380 for the pill. And I only had paid one whatever. <laughs> you do the math. Um Yeah, I paid like 
why can't I do the math right now? It's ridiculous. <laughs> so, um, a hundred dollars, right? So, so they basically, so two hundred dollars because I owe one eighty. Duh. So they basically said that I owed the one eighty, and I had to pay it like right there. And I was like, well, um, number one, how do you even know that that's right? You guys, they just did the surgery on Friday. So they submitted the claim already. And, and they're like, well, they go off of the pay fee, you know, da, da, da. And I said, well, I'd like the opportunity to call my insurance company and see if an exception can be made because you guys couldn't get an IV in me. So it wasn't really something that was norm. And I chose it was because of medical necessity that we had to do it that way. So, um, so that's something I am going to call them about and see what I can get done. So basically, and I was broke. So I was like, I can, you know, uh, I want to call them. And she was like, well, I'll go ahead and let you get the adjustment today. And I'm thinking to myself, you'll let me go ahead. I already paid for that. And like, it felt like almost like it was, she was almost insinuating like it would be held hostage if I didn't pay, you know what I mean? So, um, I did pay like $30 and, and I'm going to continue to make payments when I go in. And if they, um, I just financially don't have to, you know, to, to give right now, that was a big blow to me, um, to pay for this. And I'm in a job transition and I work in jobs where I get commission. So I'm going to have a, um, a time where I have to build up that pipeline to get that commission back. So I'm going to have no commission for a couple months. So that's a real challenge to me to pay this extra money when I have all my other bills that I'm trying to pay as well. I have a kid, you know, I have other things going on. So, uh, you know, I'm going to pay them small amounts each time and hope that they don't hold my uh, appointment hostage. If they do, I might just ask for my money back for the permanent denture because I bought the top of the line um, denture package. And, and I'll just go to Russell Klein to get my permanence because I'm, I'm not going to, you know, this pettiness and just everything that they did in the office side is kind of getting on my nerves. The fact that they didn't listen to me when I told them that in the first place, that they weren't going to be able to get an IV in me and I want a, a contingency plan. No one mentioned to me anything about a you know, additional cost. Um, that would have been nice to know to prepare myself for. It would have been nice for them to actually listen to me. I almost had my appointment rescheduled again, but thankfully to the wonderful oral surgeon who really saw how much I wanted to go forward, um, he went ahead and did it. Even um, though he thought it would be a bad idea. It, now granted, it, it went wonderful. Um, I didn't feel or have any problems and the pills, you know, knocked me out great. Um, but you know, like I said, the care has been great, but the office is atrocious when it comes to, um, the scheduling and just how they are fin financially. Um, again, that is really about management. The girls that work there are great. Um, they've all been nothing but nice. The assistants that work with the dentist have been fantastic. The dentist themselves, the care, the oral surgeon, fantastic. So, you know, if you can get past the little management and, and those things, um, the, the care overall has been wonderful. The quality of my denture that I received is, is good. I've seen other people's, um, and I've noticed that like their front teeth are kind of like shorter and like more straight across. I feel like this one definitely has more uh, detail, is closer to what my real teeth look like. So I, I think that, you know, overall, um, I would do it again with Aspen just because of the cost and how it worked out for me getting everything done at one place. Um, but this is a really long video, so I'm going to wrap it up. But again, this is one week in. Um, 
and I'll continue to, to put up more videos and just share my story just because um, other people have really sh helped me so, so, so much. I actually sat here all morning and just looked at people's videos looking for day eight dentures because I'm in so much pain and I just want to know if it's going to get any better and, and what I should do considering my appointment so far away. I'm thinking about doing my own soft reline. I've yet to use adhesive. I didn't know I was allowed to because I thought with this, with it not, you know, with the not being healed, I didn't think you were allowed to. And it seems like you, you can. So I'm considering maybe doing some on my top. Even though I'm having no problem keeping it in, I'm wondering if that's contributing to um, just some of the soreness and maybe the little sores with the rubbing. So maybe if I did put in some sort of adhesive, it would stay better. And um, maybe that would, and maybe also my bottom, like the fact that I can feel that space in there, um, maybe that will help too. So, you know, you guys, I really appreciate all of the videos that you've put out. Um, and I'm hoping that, you know, as I share my story, that other people, I'll help them as well. Maybe you're in the same boat I'm in. Um, so, anyway, that's it. And I will update again. Thanks and hope you have a great day.